Okay. Well, obviously this is the tank. Um, this is our gimbal mechanism, so this is where the rocket motor is basically pivoting. Um, this is the motor. The catalyst is in this section, the chamber. Then this is the nozzle. This is our throttle valve. Um, that's just controlling the flow of the peroxide into the motor. Um, these are X and Y actuators, which actually steer the, steer the motor around beneath the rocket. Um, this is our tank drain valve, which we never use unless there's a problem. If for some reason we have fueled him and now no longer want to push the fuel through the rocket, we'll open that valve and it drains, drains the tank. Um, normally, if we want to drain the fuel from the vehicle, say we've landed and there's extra fuel, we want to get rid of it, um, we'll just uh, run the motor at low thrust and push the fuel through the motor. Um, these are most of the electronics, the batteries, this is the safety system radio. Um, these are uh, some of the controllers for the vehicle. There's some, uh, most of the sensors are up at the top of the vehicle here. Um, this is our payload. Um, that's the 24 kilogram mass and the other kilograms made up with some of the uh, video equipment, which isn't yet on here, but it'll go in a similar box just on the other side. Um, these are attitude control thrusters. So there's are two solenoid valves um, that just, uh, I guess, just vent some of the nitrogen pressure to control a z-axis roll. Um, the mass and the electronics are mounted on top of another uh, ball valve. That's our safety system. So there's another servo actuator there. Um, when I, I have a single button that actuates the safety system that opens that valve, that vents the tank, um, and that's how that's our second way of terminating thrust besides just closing the throttle valve. Um, so these are our legs. At the bottom of the legs are uh, four bicycle shocks. Um, they're there to kind of pad our landing. Um, that's about it. I guess you're looking at the, this is a, a flexible hose that allows the motor to pivot relative to the tank. Um, still get the fuel in there. Um, that's about it. <laughs>